The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Who can decide to play soccer and they can get results? Now listen, the water is just ankle deep. Now when you hear that, they will make a lot of noise. Yeah. When your anointing is not that deep, you just make a lot of noise. I'm telling you for a fact. You, you talk about everything. They make too much noise in churches. They are always saying, this is wrong, this is that, this is that. No. The anointing is not that much. Then he says that he measured off another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. He measured off another thousand and led me through water that was up to the waist. Now listen. If water is up to your knee, it is now time to walk in slowly. Now you have to be dragging because now the water is heavy. Such people pay the anointing, they don't make too much noise. Then the water rises to the waist. Now when water comes to your waist, it is a dangerous point. It is a dangerous, up until this time, it says water, water, water. It is dangerous, especially when you don't know how to swim. Now when it comes to your waist, the only thing you fear on earth it's not the human being standing there. It's not the gun. It's not the soldier. It's not the arm robber. But what you fear at that particular moment is the water. So you see such people just looking at the water. They are afraid that it shouldn't well up again. They are afraid of the water. Now listen. It is not enough to just be shouting in church. Do you fear God? 72% of us Ghanaians claim to be Christians. But we live in such a corrupt society. If it was the 30% that were engaged in corruption, would we have felt it? How do you make your money? How do you treat your wife? Do you fear God? Now listen. He measured off another thousand, but now it was a river. Now listen, now the water changed to what? A river. River. That I could not cross because the water has risen up and was deep enough to swim in. A river. Eh? A what? A river. That no one could cross. He asked me, son of man, do you see this? Then he led me back to the bank of the river. When I arrived there, now the language has changed from water to what? River. When I arrived there, I saw a great number of trees on each side of the river. This river makes glad the city of God. It, 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 it bursts. It brings the greens. There is life in the river. Anything that the river touch, there will be life. He said to me, the water flows towards the eastern region. And goes down into the Arabah, where it enters the Dead Sea. Now the water is going to enter the Dead Sea. When it empties into the sea, the salty water there becomes fresh. The salty water there will become fresh. Swarms of living creatures will live wherever the river flows. Listen, swarms of living creatures in the Dead Sea will live wherever the rivers flow. There will be large numbers of fish because this water flows there and makes the salt water fresh. So where the river flows, everything will live. The water that I will give you, you must watch out, should well up in you. 
until it starts overflowing. And wherever the water gets to, there must be life. I can't imagine a dickness and an elder who have tied the knot. Yet, in their home, is war. None of them, river is flowing. I can't imagine such people giving birth to children and the children turning and becoming wayward. Is they are wayward because your river is not flowing. But wherever the water gets to, there must be life. Think I've made my point. But let me tell you a secret. Genesis chapter 7. I read verse 11 and verse 17. This water must well up in you. It must flow. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, on the seventeenth day of the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of heaven were opened. Now, this is how God brought forth water on the earth to destroy the people of Noah's time. Two things he did. Not knowing that God has a store of water in the deep. So he opened the one in the deep. And then he opened the one up. So while some were coming from the inside, others too were coming from the top. Now listen, that is who you are. That is why Jesus said that I will give you water and in you will well. Then on the day of Pentecost, he says, wait, another one will come. So if you are a believer, you must daily open the water in the deep on the inside of you. Christianity is not about shouting. Sometimes in the PIWCs and the charismatic churches, we force shout on the people. And we didn't know this. We are typical Pentecostal, classical Pentecostals. When we come to church, we don't force anybody to do anything. Our aim is to see the spirit flow. And when the spirit is flowing, there will be life. No, there will be life. You see, you don't force water to flow. It is a natural cause of water to flow unless something is blocking it. So I want you to flow. I want you to keep to the source, the river of life. And when you keep to the source, you wake up in the morning and you are by your scripture. You are not just reading 15 minutes as we were taught by scripture union. You want to drink deep. You want to drink deep on the water. And as you drink deep upon the water of life, that well on the inside of you to rise. And as you wait upon God, some can also come from above. And when that fish from above, and then the one on your inside meets, it will flow. I want to beg you. There's too much artificialism in church today. That is why this generation is producing very bad Christians. Because the pulpit is making the pew bad. When we stand here and we talk about nothing but prosperity, what is money to cockroach? What do we need money for? Because God will give us anyway. But he's looking for a people of whom he can flow. That river of living waters. So that the woman in your house, so that that's your neighbor, so that the one working with you will come and ask you, where can I get this water? May the Lord bless us. May he cause our eyes to be open. May we go back to the roots, even to the river of life, where we go to church and we want nothing but him. We want nothing to fail us but him. Today we are busy talking about the witches and the wizards. They didn't teach us that. They didn't teach us that. Who are witches? Do you know the strength of a river? Do you know how strong a river is? A river, when it is angry and overflowing, can come and stand at the back of your house. It doesn't matter how tall the house is. Let the river be there. Count it. It will have all the patience. Then you will see that the skyscraper will fall without noise. Without noise. That is the power of river. Now it is in you. Let it flow so that Ghana will benefit. God bless all of us. <laughs>